Bye guys. Grateful I woke up today. Grateful John woke up today and that my kids woke up today. And I'm grateful you joined us. We just showed a property and we're on our way to an open house. And I wanted to take a minute to, to share some thoughts with you. I'm really grateful for my life and I know that um, sometimes we have struggles in our lives and I was thinking about what I could share today that might help some of us that are struggling and give us a little hope and share some quotes with you because um, sometimes it seems like things can get overwhelming. Hi Diane, how are you gorgeous? And so I thought I would share some things with you that help me when I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed. And I found a quote, I loved this quote, that said, um, God did not remove the Red Sea. Because sometimes we think, why is this happening to me? Or why do I have these problems? Or why can't this problem just go away? And um, good morning. And it would be nice, wouldn't it be nice if all our problems would go away, but wouldn't life be kind of boring and we wouldn't learn and grow? Because I think our challenges give us opportunities to grow and become better people and to learn patience and other virtues. And it gives us opportunity to help each other. Anyway, so I'm going to read you this quote. It's here on my iPad. It says, God did not remove, can you turn the blinker off? God did not remove the Red Sea. He opened it. He will help us find a way through our problems as well. That's by Brad Wilcox. Hey guy, how are you this morning? Isn't it a beautiful day? It's already 88 degrees here down in Southern California. Hopefully it's a little cooler in Central California for you. Anyway, God did not remove the Red Sea. He opened it. He will help us find a way through our problems as well. So your life is not going to be perfect or whatever your vision of perfect is for your life. But things are going to happen. Hey, Cindy. And we have bumps and things that come along the way. And we have to decide how we're going to react to these things. But one thing I do is I write in my gratitude journal. And that helps me a lot to help me stay in gratitude and focus on the things that I'm grateful for. And then I wanted to read you a card here. This one's Be Infinitely Patience. Patient. Because sometimes patience can be uh, difficult. Uh, I think for me, I want everything to, I want to be patient, but I want it now, right? Ha ha ha. Being infinitely patient means having an absolute knowing that you're in vibrational harmony with the all creating force that intended you here. You know that everything will happen at just the right time, at just the right place, with just the right people. So we have to be infinitely patient. Everything that you're going through in your life is here to give us experience and it's good for us. Byron Katie really does help us with that, right? If you go to the work, she teaches us to love everything and love it the way it is. So anyway, I was thinking about that like a caterpillar, they get in the cocoon and then they become a beautiful butterfly, right? And um, diamonds, they're in carbon, right? And then they become beautiful diamonds. So you're a beautiful diamond in the rough becoming even a better version of yourself and not Anytime we have challenges or stresses that bring us down, we have to remember that we always have to wake up and start and face a new day. And there's always hope for a better day and we can always be improving, right? And I think that's another thing. If you, have you ever stayed up all night and it gets really dark and then as the sun starts coming up, it starts casting that, that golden dew across the landscape and it gets brighter and brighter and as the sun keeps coming up higher and higher and it gets brighter and brighter and pretty soon the light pushes the darkness out and then it's a bright day right and um, it's just like that in our lives we have to push the darkness out and we have to make sure we have a healthy mind healthy life and we focus on the good and that we keep getting back up because life is gonna knock us down sometimes and we have to just get back up again, right? And it's not how many times you get knocked down, but it's how many times you get back up again. And I believe in you. You matter. You're worth it. So dust yourself up, off, brush yourself off, get up and face and enjoy. Don't just face the day. Enjoy the day, right? 
going to be a great one. We're going to do open house today and meet a lot of nice, wonderful new people that we can serve. And I hope you guys look for opportunities to serve others. I get to see, I have a friend that moved to Australia. I haven't seen her in, oh, probably over 20 years, maybe. Anyway, a long, long time. And I'm so excited to see her tonight. And I think she's going to spend the night at my house. And won't that be fun? Luckily, a lot of people come spend the night at my house. And I'm grateful for that because I enjoy uh, getting to know people and seeing people, even if it's just for a little bit. I'm going to read you one more card. Take no offense. This one... This one can be a hard one. That which offends you only weakens you. Being offended creates the same destructive energy that offended you in the first place. So transcend your ego and stay in peace. Send everyone love. Everyone. Anyway, remember healthy mind, healthy life. Share this video with someone you think can use it. Remember to have hope, right? Hey Jen, how are you gorgeous? Your trip looks awesome. I would love to hear all about your trip and where you went. Uh, and see more of your pictures because it looked amazing. You guys are such a cute couple. You go out and do really exciting, fun things. Anyway, I hope you guys are well, but we all have struggles. They might be health challenges. They might be in our families. They might be money related. They might be with um, relationship. Remember, you might be your own worst enemy. You might not be being kind to yourself. So be kind to yourself and be kind to others you're going to get through what you're going through i promise you look forward and have hope healthy mind healthy life remember we're still working on not gossiping and not complaining you are a garbage magnet if you're complaining you're going to attract more of what you think about into your life so hopefully you're having positive happy thoughts and i hope you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you tomorrow